Hey everybody, how's it going? Don here. So, let's take a look at what the resin printer printed out today. So take a look here at all these little parts. These are all the small windows and just to give you an idea the biggest window here is 28 millimeters wide. I mean wow that's uh, yeah and the smallest window this you know it, uh, let me put it on the table here that thing is 15 millimeters wide and 2 millimeters thick. I mean, let me see if I can stand it up. Oh man. There we go. <laughs> that thing, that thing is only about 2 two and a half millimeters thick. <laughs> Some of the other windows, they're a little bit thicker. That one's almost five millimeters thick. But, uh, yeah. I got all the windows printed. So, back to the normal camera now. I got all the windows printed, but now I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this with the LEDs and I'm still waiting for an answer. Somebody tell me. If I use a 9 volt block battery as a power, or if I use a uh, normal block 9 volt or 12 volt, how many resist how much is the resistance that I have to put on each of the 30 LEDs so that they won't burn out. I mean if somebody could put a comment down in the description that would be cool. Oh and yeah it is late at night it's already 1130 at night sorry about that but uh, yeah got those done and I thought cool but nobody has put an answer on my last uh, last video when I started talking about the resistors and the LEDs and the power. Because I'm still not sure if I should just put a 9 volt black block battery in there with a small switch to turn it on and off. Or if I use a uh, 9 or 12 volt um, power brick to plug in. It'd be nice if somebody would let me know. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I mean, got all of the windows printed out. Took me two batches and about three or four times with, uh, um, uh, what's the name of that program again? Cheeto Butt. Uh, Cheeto Box. Yeah, the Cheeto Box. I don't know what was going on there. I mean, I had on the one plate that was really easy to put them all on there. There's two, uh, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen was on the one plate. That was all from uh, W1 to W. 15 or something like that and then a couple extras and then on the other plate there was uh, two four six eight ten and you know <laughs> fast oh man the uh, that sonic mini that thing was super fast Th these things they were printed out in like uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes maximum and they were already finished and waiting for me to take them out and I didn't even notice it 
and uh, yeah, but anyway, the Cheetah Books, I don't know why. I was putting them on, one at a time on there, putting them at an angle, putting support on, then did the next one, did the next one, did the next one, you know, putting them all nice on the plate. And then all of a sudden, I said, uh, splice, started doing uh, all the work, hollow and whatever. And then started splicing, and all of a sudden, booms! Cheetah box closed up. Had to restart Cheetah box. Had to put everything back on there. Put the support back on. Splice. Hollowing, 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 hollowing. That went really fast. I mean, by such small parts, that's uh, <laughs> that's clear. But then all of a sudden, crash. Think about three or four times. And then finally, it did it. Sliced it all up and I could save it <laughs> onto the USB stick. I mean, that was really crazy. Yeah, but anyway, I got them all finished. Now, all I have to do is just wait for somebody to give me a good answer. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start experimenting myself and try and not to blow out any of the LEDs because you know I think there's something like 25 white, 25 yellow, 25 blue, 25 green and I don't want to ruin any of them because I might want to have some more for the next project <laughs> but anyway leave a comment down in this section let me know what you think yeah, about the resistance. I'm pretty sure we have a couple of guys out there that are specialists and can say, Don, with a 9 volt block battery, put a uh, 47K on each resistor and you won't burn them out or whatever. So leave a comment down below and let me know. And uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button. Click the bell so that you'll be informed when the uh, next video is online. And I will try to do a video every week, but I, you know, I'm not getting too much sent in or any requests, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next. I mean, if this resin printer, if that thing was bigger, well, I know what I'd do. Because I have a couple of nice dragon figures, but I want to print them out bigger. And that's where maybe the any cubic Mega Zero, where that might come in question. I'm not sure. But uh, if I had a bigger resin printer here. Well, I definitely print them all with resin printer just because of all the fine detail and the smooth skin that you have already, you know, from resin printing. But anyway, y'all take care and as I already said, don't forget to hit the like button, ring the bell, Click on all so that you always be informed when a new video comes out. And leave a comment down below. Y'all take care now. Till the next time. Bye.